Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this session of Microsoft Visual Basic. Today, I'll be taking you through how to come up with a simple online air ticket booking management system. Basically, I will take you through what I have already done, then we shall do it together. Uh, this is the GUI or graphical user interface. Once you launch your system, you will be brought to this dashboard. Uh, we have to select a tri uh, that is select trip type, like now one way, multi city or road trip. For instance, if I want to select a road trip, I choose here, then I click on confirm, then I will be brought to this uh, that is this system here where I can be in a position to choose various uh, options. Then uh, on the other hand, you can be uh, in a, uh, you, are, you are interested in going for multi city trip, therefore you can still do that. On one way trip, you choose the freight and when you choose the freight number here, you are given the source, destination, and the fare. Then you can choose the date. Uh, right now you can choose the date you want to book your flight. Right now I want to book mine on 15th. Uh, that is uh, 15th, 15th, that is 15th. I want to have to have, uh, for example, I want to book mine on March. Then number of travelers and class, I can choose, uh, like for example, I will be an adult. Then I'll go with one children and one infant. Then you can get the total of travelers here. Then you can also choose, I'll be traveling in economy class. Then I'll be uh, going for regular fare. Then from that way, I can just click on save. Then I can still now add a new uh, passenger. After now filling my details here, I can be in a position to see the passengers uh, who have booked various flights. Therefore, right now this one has booked for flight that one. Then the other one has booked uh, the other one. Therefore, in nutshell, then you can also confirm your ticket is booked, thank you. Then you'll be brought back to this part. You can also view the booked flights by clicking on view book, uh, booked flights. Therefore, basically, that is just a demonstration of what I want us to uh, do today. Again, range Visual Basic. Then once you range your Visual Basic, the next thing you go to standard exe then open let's start by designing our graphical user interface therefore what we do we first of all save our project you can save our project in drive c in uh, just here just call this one you can just call it um, online online yeah, right. Booking. Then you save it. Then our project is Airwing Pro. That way. Then you can also uh, make sure that um, this one is uh, well framed. Therefore, you hit on properties. Then you can just go to uh, where font is font. Then choose. Uh, the font you use, then go to back color here, parent, we choose our color, then on our point here form, we can just call it uh, airwing booking pro, then remember to save, then from there we can just come to this point here, image, then draw our image here, then go to picture on your left hit the three dots then go to where your pictures are like now mine uh, we can just go to this point my pictures then 
I can take this picture here of an aircraft. Then after having done that, I can just go and draw my box here that way and uh, or you may opt to use a frame this frame here you draw the frame then on your frame you go and give it the same color you gave the the that is the this one. then hit the frame go to caption here then you can just type select 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 trip type then go to font font here uh, board then uh, that way then from there you draw the option boxes we need three that is one we need three of them two we also need the third one here therefore then you can still assign the color like now you can just go to back color here you assign them the same color also this one assign it the same color then do the font do the font for each just go to uh, font hit this way you give it 14 board for this is what we have therefore you have option one option two option three then this one just go to caption where the caption is here Therefore, this is one way. This is one way trip. This is the one way trip. Then this one. This is the round trip. Round trip. Then this one is multi city. Multi city trip. Multi city trip, then just adjust here. Therefore, this is what we have so far. We can have uh, this one, we remove the italics, just remove the italics and put board. Good. Therefore, this is our, our first GUI. We save it, just go to project, then properties. Make sure form one is the one that. Uh, is being selected alternatively you can just change this one to uh, start up let's call it startup so that when we come to this point we have startup form or the or the dashboard therefore when you run this is our dashboard then now let's go ahead and add buttons here we need to have various buttons you just take this box here you can draw it down here then go to command button we need three command buttons that is one we also need another one two and three therefore we can arrange them this one this button here this one is button for confirm therefore just go to here then write it as confirm this makes work easier when programming confirm then go to caption now this is confirm then go to the next one the next one is cancel therefore you can just call it cancel then go to caption this is uh, cancel then we go to the other one the other one is view booked flights therefore this one the, this one you can just call it report then this is uh, the caption is view uh, booked booked flights view booked flights that way then you can still make them beautiful just still go to font uh, board board them that way uh, you also board this font board okay therefore this is what we have as our graphical user interface can just make this one readable and big then this is 
our GUI. This is where we shall be operating uh, our system. Then from here, we need now to code, to start coding. Therefore, we can double click this. Now, once uh, you double click this one, if in a position to uh, have on the form road, what happens when we uh, open this? Therefore, what happens? Option one, that is option one dot, that is option one dot value should be equal to false. That means no, no option will be selected. You can still copy paste that one. Uh, again, we paste. Therefore, you have three options. Therefore, you have option two, option three. None of the options should be selected when the form loads. There we are. You see, until now, I come and click so that I can confirm. That's what I, I, I want us to do. Then from there, we can go ahead and um, uh, code for the confirm, this one, you double click the confirm. Then on the confirm, we just write that if option one dot, uh, that is if option one, if option one is true, then one way dot show. Else, else if we go ahead, option two equals to true. Uh, else if, then, then what happens? Then two way dot show. Uh, then else, else if option. 3 equals to 2 then multi-city multi-city dot show now you realize then and if and if you realize that um, when I was putting dot there was no auto uh, throw because we don't have an object called one way two way and multi-city Therefore, you can create those objects. Just go to project, add form, form, open. Therefore, we have this form. We save it as one way. That is our form, one way. Then, uh, this form, you can just call it one way. Then this one uh, up here, you can just write one way trip booking. GUI that way then we go again form add form open then save this one this one is now two two way two way that is two way form then just come to this point uh, save it as two way then go to caption and have this one this is two way Two-way or round trip booking GUI. Then this is our two-way. Then we can still go ahead. Project add form open. Then this one is uh, multi city mart multi multi city that way. Then save. Then this one we just come to name. This is uh, Marty City. Then we go to caption. Caption we have Marty City. Marty City trips. That way. Now what you uh, is happening here? If now I hit this one, then go to one way trip and hit confirm. Mm, just a moment. We have option if option one is true. No, 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 no. It should be if option one equals to true here. Yeah. Therefore, if option one equals to true, therefore we can uh, we can rerun the program. If option one equals to true, then what happens? 
Therefore, he said that when, therefore, when you come to this point, you see what happens. It opens one way trip. When I select round trip and confirm, it opens two way or round trip. When I click multi city trip and confirm, uh, let's fix that one. You have multi city. We root an I for SC. Uh, stop our program to fix that one. It is multi city. Therefore, you wrote multi city dot. Yeah, good. Show. Save that one. Therefore, when I run and open multi city and confirm, it should open multi city trips. Therefore, after now having done that, we can go ahead and uh, code individual forms. Therefore, let's go to uh, this point here. Then uh, drop this a bit or cross it. Then come and check the project explorer. Then go to one way. Now on one way, you want this form to maximize on opening. Therefore, make sure properties is active. Therefore, you scroll down. You scroll all the way down up to Windows state normal here. You choose maximized. Then, because you are working on this form, um, one way, we choose it as startup so that you can be running to see what is happening. Therefore, we choose one way and click on OK. Then, after, if I run now, you see one way is maximized because we have set the window state uh, to have the same. Therefore, view, view, view code. Uh, view object, we can just go back to our, 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 our object. Our object is one way. This is what we have. Therefore, you just go to properties, uh, do the necessary, like now change the color back color. Uh, we can just have that back color as uh, green. That way. Then now we can um, draw what uh, we can just draw our GUI. We can start by drawing a timer. Here we shall be using a time writer. We can also draw a rib there for date and time. Then that way. Uh, then after done that, uh, having done that, having done this one, that is a report that we shall use to have date and time. We can go ahead and uh, draw draw our combo. Our combo box. This is our combo one. Uh, it will be freight type. If we can just go to, uh, co we know combo one is freight type, therefore we just go to combo one here and make sure it is empty. Then go ahead and draw text, various text boxes. Uh, right now we can draw a few text boxes there. You need like five text four. We, we need text one, two, three, and five. I've drawn those ones. Then we have to put a label for them for each. We need a label for source. Therefore, you have. Now, after having written this, you can uh, make sure these ones are of the same color with the form. Therefore, you just go to back color that way, then give it the color. Therefore, they will resemble the, the mother form. Then, we need to have um, a date picker here. Therefore, you just go to project, you go to components. Uh, make sure you assign the respective uh, the respective components. Therefore, you put Microsoft Windows Common Control. That one, that one will allow you to have the date picker. Therefore, the date picker is here. Therefore, this one is the date. Uh, this one is the date. That was important for you to see. Then go to back car, I bar it here. You put it like the others. Then from there, 
Uh, we go ahead and uh, uh, have others like now we can just uh, draw a box here that is for that one we can also draw another box for the others we shall have others here I opted to pull this not the other one Therefore, uh, we need to have this one there. From there, we add more, more buttons. We can add the number. We can just come to this point and uh, type something inside here, inside the label. Therefore, we just go to caption. Therefore, this one, we have the number, number of Travelers, number of travelers and class, number of travelers and class, then go to font, uh, can put that one like seven, number of travelers, you can also opt to increase this. If we have number of travelers and uh, class number of travelers and class then do the same as we are doing I change that color change that color to the form color therefore this is the number of travelers then from there uh, we can assign more buttons here we can assign various text boxes one that is text box six another one then another one and another one and another one that way then we can rearrange these text boxes this one can just be somewhere there therefore this one is for adults this is for adults of adults the other one is for children and infants therefore I will be back once go to Bakara Bakara system you give the form Kara then uh, we also need to uh, draw something different here where somebody will choose the for this one you will choose the cabin class therefore you just go to this point then we, we can just write this one as choose choose cabin cabin class class then we have another one down here this one we do the same color parrot Therefore, this one is uh, that is the fair type. Fair type. Then we draw the combo box. They are in there. We have to draw a combo box. Then also we draw another combo box down here. And for this one, we just come to this point and remove the name. We also hit this one here and remove the name. Therefore, we have those ones. Uh, uh, this is to choose the fare. This one is to choose the the cabin. Therefore, for this one, you just go to where the list is at the item here. Then we have uh, this one is select. We shall have. Uh, we can have freight. Freight one. Freight one. Here. You need to have list flight one or just use a code to write that. Therefore, I think the code will be the best. This is for flight one, flight. This is for cabin. This is for fair type. Therefore, just need to know that this is combo. This is combo one. This is combo two. This one. This is combo three. I'm just checking on this point. Then we also need to remove these writings. 
this one you can do the same just hit backspace on your keyboard so that they can be uh, blank or empty for this one is just backspace therefore that one looks nice then when we run this is what we have so far then from there uh, we can go back to view view object uh, that is one way we want to, to, to view one way this is what we have then we can uh, put these ones to resemble the the form also if we just go back to Bakara, you do the same then let's make uh, we want time to be displayed here when this one runs then uh, we can have uh, time displayed therefore you just go to form road event then type uh, that that is rebo one that is rebo one equals to time then we have uh, rebo two equals to date or you can just type now therefore you see we have time and date displayed from that code and then the next thing just go back to our one way just go back to our one way and uh, put the buttons down here for navigation therefore we shall have the buttons here if we just have the buttons we have confirm button and cancel button we also have save or update button here then we can also have the other buttons here on the other hand we shall have a navigation button for add new add new add new we should also have the previous and that is previous and uh, next buttons now therefore you draw that one then from there i have taken you through how to rename the buttons using the caption therefore for this one uh, you just hit on it go to properties then go to this is for next therefore just the type next this is then you go to caption go to caption and then have those ones written there then this one is previous previous then on previous go to caption then uh, draw those ones then go back to this one the cancel here should be false then increase a bit that way then this one is uh, add add new but here we want it to have add that way then this one is confirm if we can have cmd confirm then here we just type confirm then this one is cancel if we can have cmd cancel then in caption you can just have cancel then rastre we have save this is the save button then you can have it as save then this one is also save good therefore this is how our graphical user interface of ours looks like so far we are almost now done with the graphical user interface then after now having this form of ours now when you run this is what we have we need when you come to this button when you come to this button you can be in a position to choose what you want therefore uh, let's do that one you just go to form road 
then in form root uh, we just go and type whatever we need therefore we need uh, to have combo one combo one dot add item then you type what you want like now uh, I want it to be to have freight number one then you can just copy this copy then paste so that uh, we can hurry up therefore you can have we need three frights three main three main frights uh, remember this is just for demonstration purposes therefore you don't need to have so many therefore then from there we just go to combo 2 uh, combo 2 then type a paste the same combo 2 but this one change this one to 2 for this one is the two therefore combo two we can just confirm what is there combo two this one combo two combo two we have cabin class we have cabin class if we just go to this one cabin class we have you can have uh, first class first class we copy this copy paste for this one is this is combo two then we have you can have the business class business then you can have the next one as economy or well, this is two. this is economy economy and lastly on the same this one we have premium economy this is premium economy economy class good then we have our combo 3 combo 3 remember you can just put the comments this is to make readability easier combo 2 good therefore for combo 3 code for combo 3 goes down here therefore for combo 3 we have fair therefore you can have uh, this is student or regular regular this is combo 3 if we have regular then we have combo 3 we have student those are the fair type student then uh, after having done that one save that one then run therefore from this point you can see i have rights then i have first class business and the other one and then i have regular therefore by doing that code you see what has happened uh, that uh, we are in a position to uh, do the uh, that code then from there uh, the next thing we need to do is to code for these buttons here uh, this this one but probably before we do that you realize that um, for uh, other that is for other GUIs this one they resemble the same therefore you just need to copy this just go to this object then you can drag your mouse copy that one then just paste them on two way just paste them here that way you paste them on two way you also paste them in multi city therefore you don't need to do a lot of work then therefore that's how you go about it therefore you only need to change the color uh, of this one like now you can just choose uh, to have this ones uh, having uh, changed the uh, that is the we change the color sorry we just go to uh, this point go to back color and then you can change the color that whereas 
opt to use those color. Then you can also go to two way. Do the same. Go to properties. Go to bar color parent. Then give it the color. Therefore, you can see now we have uh, hurried up our design by copy paste because they will basically have the same uh, look. Then we now specialize on this one. Remember, even the buttons will still be at the same design. They will be at the same design. And also, we shall copy paste the codes because the code is almost the same. Therefore, from there, we can go one on one and uh, start coding. Therefore, you can just start coding uh, on the that is on the combo. Like now, we can just go to combo one. This is combo one, double click. Then this one should be click on click what happens on combo one and basically what happens if combo one equals to uh, freight number one equals to freight one then what happens uh, then okay then then we shall come up and have text one equals to the town we want it to be. For example, Nairobi. Then the text two, text two should be equal to destination. Let's say this one is going to New York, New York City. Then what happens? The next one will be the price text. Uh, three equals to, uh, for example, you can just give some like 500 US dollars, 5,000 US dollars. That is that one. Then tax, uh, tax, tax can be, for example, 50 dollars or 100 dollars. Then we shall have, uh, then text five. That is text five should be equal to var text three dot text dot text plus plus var text uh, that is text four or you can just give it text four dot text but it is not a must it be dot text uh, then from there let's first of all see what's happening therefore if i choose right one oh no no block if you haven't written and if block if without and if therefore fight one you see what happens uh fight one this one this one is um, displayed automatically. Let's just confirm. This this is not the not tax, but text for text for that way. That's why it didn't work. Therefore, when I choose right one, everything is out of field for me. Then we have right two and three. Therefore, let's go to back to our court and finish up that one. Then what happens? Else if we can just copy this. Our programmers should not get so much tired. Therefore, from here, we can just say else if else if combo one equals to now the next freight. Freight two. Then what happens? Then the prices should change. Therefore, this one, the other freight can be still living from Nairobi, but now heading to, uh, it can be heading to Barin. Barin. Let's say so. Then we go ahead. Mm. Else, if combo one equals to the next freight, freight number three, 
then what happens we paste this one therefore it will still be leaving from Nairobi uh, but this one now will be heading to Dubai to Mumbai India Mumbai it will be heading to Mumbai then we can give something like uh, tax of that therefore basically uh, that one is done and therefore when i choose freight number three there is and if else if no let's just see what, what uh, we are supposed to do uh, down there um, we have this one and if yeah we need to make sure that if i uh, key in a number here number here number here this one automatically calculates the the this one therefore you can still do that go to that is go to our gui then note this text number this is text six seven eight nine before you are working on text 9, double click on text 9, then change this one to click. This should be click. Uh, then save that one. Mm, just take that one back. Therefore, we are coding for this text 9. What happens? Therefore, text 9, text 9, 9 equals to var var text uh, six dot text plus var text seven dot text that way plus var text eight dot text Therefore, we shall expect that one to add up. That is text nine dot text dot text. This one converts and the, whatever is key in there to a value, and therefore it is important to include it. Therefore, if we have one adult, one children, and one infant, then you will have to. Therefore, um, we have three. So for that case, you'll have three given there, and therefore, if for example these are two, then you get four. You get the number of um, people there. Then you can still choose the price. Then from there, uh, we can still have the the other part coded. That is the save button. You can have the buttons, and uh, that is the buttons keyed in. That is the codes for various button keyed in, and um, then from there we can be in a position to uh, to 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 work well. Therefore, let's go and uh, do the code for save button. And uh, if you have watched my previous videos. You realize that uh, it is important to uh, make sure that you have a database so that the database is the one that is uh, that is that is the one that um, acts as the back end uh, meaning when visual basic saves data it is keyed in in the database and for that case uh, rest first of all in uh, change this one change the improvement of our point here if we just go to uh, font font just go to font then borrow this then from there uh, we can start by coding on our save button double click on our save button but before we do the, the that one it is important uh, we do the connection and for the connection you just need to go to the form road form road event here this is where we shall paste our code for connection and therefore for our code for connection I just copy it here you can get it below my uh, that is the 
below my that is the description just below this video just copy this code you can have this code you don't need to cram this code then paste it here now you only need to change the the name of the database therefore the name of the database you just go to where it is here this is the where the, the, the name of the database um, is just a moment this is where the name of the database is and that's why exactly I want us to focus here. This is the name of the database. Uh, that is .mdb here. That is this point, this one. Profile, whatever. Therefore, I just go to where my, my computer is. This is where the database is. Therefore, you can create our database and then record a uh, fix it here. And uh, you must know how many uh, feeds you have. Therefore, you launch access, then go to branch database, branch database, then redirect your database where you want it. I want it to be in C, and my database is DB1. I create, then I go to design, I create my table. If I create my table, having all the feeds that uh, I want. And therefore, we can have nine feeds. If we can have feed one, can have field two, field two, field three, can have field four, field five, field six, six, and then you can have um, field seven, can have field eight. Eight, then field nine. Then you can have our primary key ID, which is outer number and primary key. Therefore, those are my feeds. Mm -hmm. This is my table. Then this one is table one. That's the remaining table one. Therefore, it's DB1 table one. Now that means when I go to connection here, I just come to this point and type the name of my database. My database is db1.mdb. I save it, then I go, I scroll, go to where my table is, my table here, select from, my table is table one, is table one, table one, that way. Therefore, the code here is record source dot open, select from table one, that's why we shall get our data. Then, we have to declare up here, you have to declare uh, the record source and the connection that one is done up here therefore you just go to this point then write dim dim is declaration dim connection as new as new I shall have it here uh, as new a D B that way dot connection. Then we shall have new our record source our RS as new um that is as our new B dot record source record that is as dot record source. Now you realize that there is no auto filling of this because there is a component we haven't added. Therefore, just go to properties, then go to references. Now, when I'm in the references, I need to add some libraries that are missing. Therefore, just scroll down, scroll down. I scroll until I get them. Therefore, I need to have. Uh, Microsoft, this one, Microsoft Active Data Object uh, 2.8 2 should be fixed. Also, Microsoft Active Plugin. Then I click on OK. Therefore, let's try to see whether it's actually. So if you just go call as a new. Yeah, you see now it comes dot you see it's now uh, available 
therefore connection will be a success. If I have shown you how to fix that one in case uh, that one is missing, therefore you have to declare this, then you type this code exactly the way I have written. Uh, get it below the description of this video or in the comment zone. Therefore, I have dropped that that code there. Therefore, let's go back to our database, uh, DB1, uh, DB1 here. Then we can do position to see our table is table table one with one, two, up to nine. Therefore, from there, uh, go back to our code. We have now made a, a connection between our database and this one. Therefore, let's go and continue with uh, our button for save. Therefore, our code for a button for save will now be, we shall have, that is RS, that is the record source dot feeds, that is the feeds, then you, you have the field, therefore field number one will be field one, in quotes, it will be in quotes, one, in quotes, dot, and then you cross the bracket dot value, equals to what we want, that is text one, dot text therefore we shall continue doing this until now we have the all records covered therefore the next one is our record 2 our record 2 equals to text 2 that way then we have uh, res dot feeds then we have our date that is our date will be kept here, therefore this is 3, then we shall have the dot uh, value equals now to our, our DT picker 1 dot value, that is for the date. Then we can just copy this to make things faster, you paste this. Therefore, for this one, we have, shall have, we had three, therefore we have four. Four, four equals to text. Text three. This is text four. Text four. This is five. This is five. Then we paste the next two, we have Six our six equals to our five. And then this is our seven. Our seven. This is this is our text six. This is seven. Seven equals to that then we can paste then we have our eight our eight equals to our seven text seven then this one is text eight this is nine if i can have that um after now having that, this is the button for save. We can have a message box, msg, msg, g box. This is a message box. Then we shall have a button has been saved. Data has been saved. Then uh, we cross the quotation mark, then we be information, then our title. Can have flight booking. Booking. Good. Then the last statement here usually RS dot update. Resi. Therefore, after having done that, that is the button for save. This is the code for save. You can just run. Then let's try to have something like that. Then we have two guys here. One, 
guy here. We have four. Then, uh, oh, we haven't included these two. We haven't included the three combos. Therefore, go back. Go back to this point here and include the three combos. Therefore, we have uh, this one. This one equals to combo one. Combo one dot text. The other one is combo two dot text. If I can still add ten and eleven in our database. Eleven. Then we have the last one, the last combo. Copy, paste. Therefore, this one can be twelve. Twelve is combo three. That way. Therefore, just go again to our database and add. The missing fields we go to our database one we go to this design view we add 10 we add 11 11 and 12 there then from there we can see what happens. If I have been a position now to save, then run. Therefore, you can just choose this one. We add several guys here. If I have like those guys here, then we can choose the first class. And then it's regular. Then save. Therefore, just just see. Uh, good. Therefore, the code is working. Only that now we need to add new button. We have to add a new button so that we clear uh, we clear the the airs for us to capture new uh, data. Therefore, we need to include add new button there so that you can be position to. Uh, go on. Therefore, let's just go to this part here. Go to cross this, then have our add a new button. We code for it. This is add. Therefore, we double click the add a new button. Then we have rs dot add new. That is the code. Then we need to clear data that was previously there. Therefore, we shall create a sub-procedure clear that I have called there so that we can be in a position to uh, to have new data added without uh, without interfering with the, with the data that was there. Therefore, just come down here. We can write a comment. Rem, uh, we are Creating a sub program, a sub procedure. Therefore, you declare a sub procedure here. Clear. You just use the word sub clear. That is sub clear. Then in sub clear, we shall have uh, uh, these ones here. You can just have these ones. All this included. Therefore, we shall have all this included. Yeah, all this. Copy this. Then paste here. Therefore, we shall have text one equals to empty. Text two equals to empty. Text three equals to empty. Text four equals to one. Remember, we are clearing. Then we have this ones should also equal to empty. Then we have combo one, 
combo one also will be equals to something now combo one we can just say when we clear it will say select select right that is for combo one then for combo two and three copy this now when we clear what happens this one combo two combo two will ask you to select cabin select cabin class then combo three will tell you to select a fair type combo three when you clear it will bring the message select select fair type select fair type then we have uh, text six text seven we have text eight and we have text nine therefore this one will be blank empty this one will be empty this one will be empty this one will be empty good therefore uh, let's see when you go to this point and click add new you see what happens these ones are cleared but uh, the this, we just fix the spelling for it then from there we can just run then hit add new then come to this point choose flight three then can choose today's date then we have one adult, one children, and one in fact, have total of three. Then you can just go to first class, then regular, then hit on save. Therefore, book, flight booking has been saved. If you can just confirm from our database whether that one has been done, just go to backend, no, yes, open, then open. Therefore, there we are. Therefore, you can see that one has been uh, entered in our database exactly as it looks like then from there uh, we need to make sure that um, our data is being displayed when we press on next button uh, that way and therefore we have to create a sub procedure to display data from our database and for that case you just go to up here a place that you can see Therefore, I shall declare a sub procedure display to make sure that our data is being uh, displayed. That is sub display. Sub display. Therefore, this in our sub display, we shall have now, like now, you can start with a date picker. Date picker one. Uh, then dot value dot dot value equals to then rs um, rs that is rs we can have it our date was our date was date bigger Our date pick our date picker was in three. If we can just copy this one to me so for the accuracy for the point so that we can have accuracy because I may not remember everything. If I can just have this one here uh, pasted here. Now what I will be doing is on a feed. Like now the feed here is one. I'm just reading here. Then I remove this part. I will be left with the text one, RS1. Therefore, the next one here equals to RS, then 2. Then 2. Then I remove this part here. If I can just copy this part here, RS, so that I avoid typing very uh, so many times. Therefore, RS, this is three then i remove this part i just have done this for accuracy purposes then this one equals to rs4 then i remove this part 
then we have this one equals to rs5 i remove this part then this one is equals to rs6 6 i remove that then this one equals to rs rs7 we remove this equals to 8 we remove this part here then this one is equals to rs then 9 we remove this part here then we are almost done equals to rs10 we remove this then this one is equals to rs11 then this one is 12 equals to rs12 we remove this part that way. Therefore, this is the code to make sure that your data is being displayed uh, from the record source so that when you hit next and previous buttons, you'll be in a position to uh, retain your data without actually losing it, uh, losing the focus. That is the losing the focus for uh, for the data. Therefore, for, the, for that case, let's code for next and previous buttons also. Therefore, we just hit this one. We also hit this one. We just go to font, where the font is. Therefore, for the font, uh, you can just make them that way. Therefore, this is for uh, this is next. You can just come to tooltip here, then write next. This is next. This is for next. Next, then this one is previous, 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 previous. Therefore, basically, what happens if you learn and place your cursor here, you will get next, you will get previous. That is for the tool tip. Then go back to our one way. Uh, then in our one way, uh, we go to next. We double click next. Therefore, the code for next is simple. It is record source dot. It is record source dot. Uh, move next that way. Then, if not record source dot end of file, then we shall display and we shall call our sub procedure else uh, rs dot move rust dot move move rust then uh, display and end if end if then we can code uh, we can just copy this code and change it this one will be very simple now to change you can just go to uh, one way then double click previous then we change we paste that code and change this one now becomes b that is the beginning of fire then um, the, the the rest remains but from here move previous dot dot move previous therefore the code is as simple as that now you can see the importance of the way I renamed this one. You can you can easily identify what you are doing without actually using the comments. Therefore, from there, let's see what we have. You see, you see now this one. There is no any other record. We have only the one record. If I can just come to this point, add new, then I can add flight number two. Then I can choose edit then two adults one children one infant for the purpose of recording then first class then uh, regular 
then I can save. Therefore, if I save, um, if I cross this now, then we run this one. We should expect to see uh, two records. There is one for Mumbai and then one Berlin. There is a, a family going to Berlin and there is a family going to Mumbai. Then after now, having done that, you realize that our work becomes now easier because I can be in a position to now copy this code to two-way and that is the road trip. I can also be in a position to copy the code to multi city. What changes is just uh, slight lines. Therefore, uh, from that point, we can just go again to our dashboard, this point here. Then uh, we can make sure that uh, this one, this button is also working. Uh, and once we ensure that the button is working, we can be in a position to uh, say then we are doing something good. Therefore, let's double click the cancel button. Therefore, for the cancel button, we can just have message box. MSG G, G box. Then we can have a message that um, you want to use more letters than Q. This is thank you. Then we shall have maybe information plus our heading. Our heading is air ticket, air ticket pro. But that way, then unroll me. Unroll me. Me here is the that is the program that is the the form that is on focus and therefore for that case um this one is also not functional we shall do that then the needful that means if i set the project here to my dashboard startup that way then run if i hit this one it just tell me a ticket thank you and then row and roads itself Therefore, let's do the same to one way so that we can duplicate the codes to others. Therefore, for this one, we shall just uh, do the same. MSG box. Then we shall uh, have our message there. That is for the one way. We shall have our message uh, for cancel button. Uh, therefore, we shall just can go to again thank you then we be information then our heading come again then what happens it should redirect us to it should unload itself first then redirect us back to uh, startup therefore startup dot show therefore that will be very crucial just see what happens therefore I set it as the point of focus if we just go to still it will work from here just run come to choose one way trip confirm it loads this one now once you are done you cancel it tells you thank you come again then takes you back to the to the uh, that is to the main form that is basically what will happen here then uh, we need now to make this ones also functional if what you just need to do is to copy the code back to this one therefore let's go to two two way two way that is we stop the program go to two way this is our two way therefore run this one first of all go to properties and set it that when it loads it should maximize therefore then the next point make this one's functional uh, we just need to copy the code don't need to 
uh, stress yourself just go to this point here and copy everything you shall only change the tables the table name therefore you will copy this code exactly the way it is go to two way double click remove this one paste it but don't forget to change the the table the table name the table for this one will be table two because we don't overwriting we don't want overwriting of data to take place then that way therefore if we go to this point huh? go to this point okay we have agreed we can still launch it from here Cloud trip um, oh yeah, good. You see the table is not found. Therefore, just go back to our database. Go to DB1. We create a table called table 2 so that the jet can see it. Just copy this. Paste. But this one is now table 2. Then we paste again, we have table three. We have table table three. Still, we just want the structure only, not data. Therefore now can save this. Uh, this one should now work. Yeah, there we are. Two way you can work. You see now it's working. You can now still manipulate to suit your needs. You see? Then for mat table, uh, this one for the mat city, you can still uh, stop the program. You can double click to see the GUI. Then do the same. Make sure when it runs, it is uh, maximized. We do state here. We have maximized. Then we do the same. Double click. You paste the code but change the table. Oh, we need it again to go and do the same one way. Double click. We have the code. Copy. Go to multi city. Double click. Remove this. Paste. But change the table. We want data from this one to be saved in a different table to avoid overwriting. Therefore, this one reads table 3. It will connect to table 3. And to test that one, you can also now change the graphical user look for this one because you don't want them to be the same. So just change the color and look, you can modify the look. Just go to Bakara, Bakara, yeah. You can change the look of the tables individually at your own wish. Then the last thing I want us to do is to populate a report then so that um, when we, we shall be on our startup here, this one works. Therefore, you can just have a record for it down here that that uh, report one dot show. You see, it is not out of uh, working because data report one is not yet created and for that case remember to watch my VB video on how to do visual basic reports you can also keep on uh, checking I'll be doing a video on how to work with uh, crystal reports but for now let's just use the input report therefore to create a report you just go to project then add the data, add the data environment. Therefore, this data environment is added. Then we have connection one here, here, and this point you add a command. But in connection one here, you go to properties. Then you choose JET 4.0. Then next, then select or enter a database name. You just go to database one. Then test connection. Connection is succeeded. Therefore, just click on OK. Now, then once you do that, you just go again to this command one, right click, go to properties.
Therefore, you're in a position to see the tables. Uh, here, you choose table. Then, uh, let's just fix that one. Connection here. Connection one. Yeah. Therefore, you choose connection one here. You're in a position to see the tables. Therefore, I want to use table one. Therefore, I just click on apply. Okay. Therefore, when you click on this point, you see my fields. My fields are here. Therefore, I just need to go to at this point here, I reduce this uh, to that point. Okay. Then I go to project. Then I go to add data report. This is the data report. If I can maximize this one. And then now I can just drag and drop my feeds on the detail section. Like now, for example, I can just uh, do that. I just bring this, click outside, inside, I remove these ones. If I can have this, and then we can also have two. I remove these ones. And then can have three. Can arrange them that way, three. Then we can take another one like four. We shall not use all of them. This is just for demonstration purposes and making sure that uh, you have uh, gotten the point home. Two. If we can still go ahead, take another one like ten. Then drag and drop. Yeah, good. Then you pull this upwards. That way, we can just test and see. Save this one as data report one. That way, the data environment one is also saved. Therefore, when I run this one, this application of mine, and hit this one, okay, we haven't declared the data source. Therefore, let me show you how that one is fixed. Uh, you just go to data environment one here. You hit this. Go to properties. Then, um, when you are in this report here, you're in a position to see data source here. Data source, it is data environment one. This is data environment one. Then the data member should be command one. Then you save that one. Okay, for comprehensive uh, manual or training on how to do visual basic reports, uh, you can just check uh, below this video. I have put a link on how to create uh, reports. Therefore, from there, you just save this, then hit this. If I can be in a position to see my report has been populated. Therefore, you have the, you can just assign the, the that is the, the, the headings, the respective headings. Uh, I can cross this. Therefore, I can put the respective headings here. I can just cross this. We don't need these ones anymore. Therefore, I can just pull this down a bit, then take the rebo here. I can draw the rebo. Therefore, this one is source. Mm, you can return the this one because of caption. Therefore, this is the source. Source, then you have destination. We have destination. Then we have number of passages. Passages. Then we can have the type of fair. Type of fair. Then still you can make this one's board going to font. Then board board then oops. 
but we then take a ribbon and for example have a heading here that uh, we have our air that is our online air booking reports then go to font can have a bigger one like 14 but we then save that one run our precision therefore once you run our precision we can we want to see the booked air prints or passengers therefore you can be positioned to see online air booking reports then uh, with the time you can come up with a very nice report uh, using the the data that is the data environment and command you connect the data source and also the, the data member like i have shown you then you'll be in a position now to uh, come up with a comprehensive uh, report that is not to the report but system that gives reports therefore in nutshell that's how you can come up with a visual basic six air wing booking pro or an online booking for flights you can use those ideas and skills to make your system even better in the future therefore thank you very much for watching remember to subscribe if you haven't done so also share my videos with your friends and uh, i'd appreciate thank you very much see you in my next video